All right, so we're here again because the Kolino developer just does not stop working and he has introduced one of the best features on any note-taking applications as of today. Recently in a Kolino update, we got access to Kolino widgets. I don't know if it's officially called a widget. It gives you an interactive web page inside your notes. For instance, if you have a video for a lecture and that video is very relevant to your notes, you can bring that video directly into your notes. All right, on my iPad screen recording, you can see we have the Colono app open. And if I create a quick note, I do have access to this plus button on the top right. When I click on that, these options to insert a website have always been there. But what is different now is when you click on it, instead of just pulling out a link, you have the ability to select between interactive, thumbnail, and transparent area. We'll go over the thumbnail and transparent area first and talk to you about the simple ways of inserting a link. So if I were to insert google.com on my note as a thumbnail, I can create that by typing on thumbnail over here and hitting create. This is a simple thing. I can resize this thumbnail. When I tap on it, it will open the website as a pop-up. This is not good for anything more than just a reference. Another way you can do this is if we were to insert a website as a transparent area. For instance, if there is a certain topic that we want to discuss. So let's search for, I don't know, Egyptian history. And I search for Egypt history. I can take the Wikipedia link and insert that as a transparent area. There is a certain aspect of my note that talks about Egypt history. I can just place this little thing on top of that. And now that you cannot see the link anymore, when I tap on Egypt history, that link opens as a pop-up. I can tap on open in browser to open it as a separate link. By clicking on insert website, interactive is something that will insert the web page as is. If we could actually insert this in, you can see that google.com is still here. We could resize it like we would with google.com's thumbnail, but this time instead of resizing the entire image, you can see how google.com actually resizes to fit inside that little thing. It's actually because when you click on done, I could click any on any one of the links as you can see right here. There's no way for me to go back or anything, but you can see like this is a properly interactive website. And if you can't figure out what to use it for, the developer has given you some options. For instance, if you want to insert a translation tool, my first language is Hindi and I can translate something from Hindi, for instance, my own name. So I select Hindi is perfect. I mean, I think it is extremely useful for anybody who's learning a new language and wants to use this as a tool that just lives inside their notes. And then there are other options as well. There is a math solver as someone who uses Colon Note and an iPad. I'm guessing that you already have an Apple Pencil and using a script based or a handwriting based calculator is definitely going to be helpful for anybody using colon note and its new widgets. Let's say you were taking notes on this Windows applications video. You were just going to copy the link, come over here and click on insert website and you can insert your own website directly. And once you click on create, you will have created a link directly for the video. And once you click on play here, the video will start playing and you can start taking your notes. All the functionality of YouTube is available to you. You can go to suggested videos. You can even go down to the comments if you are interested in the comments on a certain video. Another way to access this functionality is through the selection tool. So once you click on the selection tool and you tap anywhere on the screen, you will have access to insert a link. You have access to all the functionalities, including interactive thumbnail and transparent area. At least in my experience, I've been able to insert multiple websites at the same time that are interactive. There are some times that it faces a little bit of problem, but I'm using a beta version of the application. So that could be the issue. And if this is your first time listening to me talk about Colin Note, you should definitely check out this other video that I have over here. It is not only the best note taking application for iPad, it is also available for free. So this is an amazing feature. Please let me know in the comments below if this feature helped you in any way possible.